At Lowe's, we believe that updating your home doesn't have to take a ton of time or money. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> give us one weekend, we'll give you five projects. This is crazy. And you'll have a completely transformed space by Monday. Oh my God! Wow! <laughs> this is The Weekender. This weekend, I'm working with Lowe's to help a couple completely transform their backyard patio. Sydney and Arrington recently got married and are first time homeowners, and they have an awesome backyard patio, and they want to transform it into a great entertaining space, and it's the perfect blank slate to do just that. Welcome to Miami. Oh, I'm so glad. I love it here. It's so awesome. And this space is so good. Yeah. Congrats on the new home. This is exciting. You Thank guys you. have been Thank in, what, a couple months? Two months now. All right. First time home buyers, first time living together. So <laughs> we're enjoying it right now. I'm Arrington. I'm Sydney. Arrington and I met in high school. We started dating about 13 years ago. Got married about six months ago. And we just bought our first home together. We love to travel, we love the Caribbean, so we really want our home to feel like a vacation. For a lot of people, when they move in, outdoor space is kind of low priority, but here, I mean, you have beautiful weather. So talk to me about this space. What are we hoping for? Um, we really love entertaining our family and friends, so we wanted to make a space where we could have dinners outside. He loves to barbecue. Uh, he calls himself, what? A grill master. A grill master. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so, if <you> <laughs> so if we could have an area for him to just be on the grill doing his thing, that'd be great while I'm sitting, lounging. <laughs> we want it to be like kind of like a chill party in the backyard. We really love uh, neutral tones, a lot of creams, beiges, whites, stones, anything that comes from the earth. Anything you want to add? No, you got it all. That's your, that's your area. <laughs> I just like to grill, that's all. <laughs> I love what you guys already have going on here. Did you guys like pick this? The design wise, like, did you have say in that? Yes, that was all me. You just I like, that was all me. <laughs> taking all yeah. the credit. <laughs> I knew what I wanted. I really like the look of the turf and I laid the rocks myself. <laughs> uh, so I got so my hands dirty a little bit. What I hear is you're handy. <laughs> yeah, okay. just a little bit. Mr. So. DIY. Yeah. <laughs> so this weekend, my goal is to completely transform this. So we need grilling, we need lounging, we need entertaining, we need a whole lot of awesome, like organic, neutral style. It's resort style. Resort right here. style. <laughs> First project, we don't need to really bring anything in because we're gonna maybe work a little bit on our surroundings okay. that are around us, That's all right? Okay. So let's go get some stuff and we'll get started. Let's do it. Painting the fence out here is really going to change this space, probably more than anything else that we do. Like you really want everything to be neutral and organic yeah. feeling. Yes. Wood leans into that, mm -hmm. but we just don't want necessarily these wood tones. Right, right, right. <laughs> right? You want to see the color? Of yeah, course. we're excited. <laughs> Three, two, one. Ooh, I love it. Yeah, this is nice. <laughs> this is alabaster white. There's like a billion different shades of white paint that we could choose from. And what made me choose this one is that it has a lot of warmth to it. So I think it's going to be the perfect color. It'll complement the house and what you already have going on too. We're gonna use a paint sprayer, which is the easiest for doing anything outside, and especially something super textured and like with all these nooks and grooves and stuff. The good news is, is that the wood is ready to be painted. Because if you're gonna paint or stain pressure treated wood, it has to have sat for a certain amount of months. There it is. How's that feel? Easy. You like actually, it? Yeah, actually really easy. Like imagine if we had to hand paint this yeah, whole thing. Yeah, every single column, no. So you and I are gonna work on project number two, and this is actually gonna be Sydney's favorite part of the okay. makeover, so I thought it'd be fun if you and I worked right. on it together. Yeah. That's cool. This is gonna be her lounging zone. That's her thing. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of just buying furniture, we're actually gonna customize a piece that she can lounge on here. And I like doing that versus like retrofitting pieces. Right, gotcha. So let me show you what we got here. Oh, we got some seat cushions, we okay. We got some seat cushions, outdoor, of yeah. course. What I have in mind is doing kind of an L-shaped sectional mm -hmm. area in here. Okay. I love that we have the cushions so we can yeah. plan this. Yeah, I think that's a good layout. And then my thought was that in this corner here, we can integrate a planter. Oh, so okay. we can have some greenery in there. Right. Under my next tarp, uh -oh. we have where we're gonna actually build the couch out of. Oh, okay. 
I love the look of sunken seating. I knew that Lowe's would have something to help me DIY this. And so we decided to go with cinder blocks. I think that this really fits with this kind of organic neutral style that we want to go for in this space. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Hope you brought your muscles today. Oh, I did. So we have a lot of block to move. Oh my goodness. Why did I sign up for this? Whose idea was this? Let's design with cinder blocks. That'll be fun. Right? <laughs> <laughs> While you keep loading, I'm gonna make some measurements. To build our sunken seating, we're using standard cinder blocks and caps and stacking those up to create our seating and then also to add a backrest. We cut some of our blocks in half so that we could have a staggered pattern, which helps with stability. All right, last piece of the base course. Did you cut it right? Let's see. You did. The kid is good. So we have our perimeter, basically like the border figured out. And along the back, we're going to use cinder blocks. For the front side, we're going to use these caps. So Maddie, you want to mix up some mortar? Cool. Go team. OK, so we're mixing up our mortar until we have a consistency that's kind of like thick, creamy peanut butter. We don't need to mortar the first course since we have a solid surface and the weight of these will hold it in place. We start mortaring on the second course. So we want to make sure that we have enough mortar. We're laying it along the edges, the back, front, and the sides. And we kind of want an even amount. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it helps it set up level. How are you feeling about this? It looks, it looks messy now, I know. Yeah, but you know, you got to trust the process on this. Trust the process. We want to get all of our block laid today so we can set up overnight so we can keep moving. Then tomorrow, we have a few more steps that are really going to pretty this up. But it's cool, right? Yeah, I think it'll look good. I see the vision. I see the end result. Nice. You know? All right, well, let's keep going because we got to get this laid before it gets dark. <laughs> All right, morning of day two. We've made some really great progress on this seating project. Now we'll smooth it out, put on a coat of that white alabaster paint. It's gonna look so good. I'm hitting Lowe's today to grab all the greenery and the plants that are really gonna bring this entire space to life. So I'm at the garden center at Lowe's. I gotta show you how many fun, cute planters there are. Can you even? One of the most important things when you're shopping for plants and greenery is knowing what type of care it needs. So always check out the tag. For this yard, I'm going only with full sun or the part sun. You basically want to check out the back of the tag too, and it has how much water, how much sun, how big it's going to get, has all the details that you need. So it makes it super, super simple. This morning, we're gonna focus on a project that I know Arrington's gonna love. I mean, what could it be? I think the self proclaimed grill master needs a pretty sweet grill setup, mm -hmm. right? So, under tarp number one. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Wow. This is humongous. You think he's gonna love it? I think he's gonna love it. But it looks amazing. We can't have him grilling down right. here on the ground. <laughs> I don't think so. so. <laughs> Oh my God, it looks so good. This grill actually goes right into this base cabinet for nice. outdoors. Isn't this awesome? It is awesome. And the color is perfect. The color is perfect. <laughs> it's so good. Ready? One, two, three. Yep. Yeah. This grill paired with this Allen & Roth cabinet, I mean, it looks so good. It's stunning. It? Obviously, there's a few things we need to hook up. And then I think it would be super convenient to add a shelf here. Okay. I love that. We can give him all of his like grill master spices. Mm -hmm. I we love can that. hang all of his tools from right. here. Spatulas. And we'll mount it right onto the fence. This is just a piece of one by six wood and we pre-painted it to match the fence. Have you used a drill before? I have not. Oh, all right. Look at this. I love this <laughs> opportunity. Okay. You kind of want to go real slow. Perfect. And look how nice that is. I think it looks good. But wait, there's more. <laughs> All right, ready? Ready. Ooh, I love the countertop. Right? It's so good. This is going to make it feel like you have an outdoor kitchen. Mm -hmm. So it's not just the grilling, but we have a countertop area for prep space. Beautiful. We have storage here, built-in cooling. So you can like use it as a cooler. You mm -hmm. can put all your ice in there. And we have an outdoor refrigerator. Okay. Love it. You wouldn't want to just put any old refrigerator outside. It needs to be specially designed. You can just see how it really unifies this whole area. I love it. I'm ready to stock it up. 
All right, last project you're gonna help me with. Okay. You ready to get your hands dirty? Uh, yeah, just a little bit. So we're gonna be focusing on planting and bringing in greens to this space. Adding these plants in are gonna soften up all the lines. It's really gonna give you that relaxing feeling in Perfect. here. So what I have here are part sun, and I have full sun plants. And then we have a variety of different containers too, all different sizes, because some will be on the ground, some will be up higher. And what I really want it to feel like is a nice curated collection. And as long as we're staying kind of all in the neutral family, we can mix and match totally. Right. So for yours, put three inches of soil in first, okay. then we'll pop this guy in and then fill around the edges. Ooh, that is gonna look so good. Cutest little baby palm tree I ever did see. So your patio gets full sun, which is six full hours of sun. And so the tag makes it super simple. It tells us how much water, kind of how big it's gonna get. So this little guy, the elephant here, is one of my favorite. This one is like a part sun, so okay. it can take a good amount, but I'm also gonna be really strategic where I place these plants okay. so that maybe it's shaded by a piece of furniture or uh, something okay. like that. That's smart. Yeah. yeah. I think we're looking good, but I need your help with one more thing. So gotcha. we're gonna focus on the only unsightly thing out here, <laughs> the AC. Oh yes, definitely. All right. We are just gonna create a really simple solution for mm -hmm. it. So I picked these up at Lowe's and they're part of an AC unit like cover, basically. Okay. It's not gonna make it disappear, but uh -huh. it's gonna make it so that it's not the first thing you notice right. out here. And what we're gonna do basically is just attach these two uh -huh. together with the bracket that they provide. I mean, that's my kind of weekender project. Nice that was and like, simple, right? That was like a 90 second project and uh, it looks it. so good. I mean, the cool thing is if you need to access it, you can easily move it oh, away. Oh, it's perfect. All right, so since this is set, this is kind of my favorite part of the weekend because it's the part where you get to go <laughs> and Matt and I are going to pull everything together. Thank you. All right, out of here. We have so much to do. I'm so excited. Don't tell Sydney anything about it. I won't, I promise. I found these really cool trellises at Lowe's Artificial Greenery. I'm bringing plenty of real live plants into this space, but I kind of liked these to add a little bit of color and life in a different way. And what's super cool is they're adjustable size-wise. So you could use this in a variety of ways. What I think I'm gonna do is go vertical with them and just add kind of like a panel of color, almost like a piece of art to kind of break up the white. Sydney and Arrington don't know that I planned a second lounging area and I think they're going to love it. Pairing a couple of these Chase lounges with some awesome pillows, a couple plants, and all of a sudden it has its own little zone. What I also really like about these is that even though they're larger, they're movable. So if they're having company over and they want to use this space in a different way, they can very easily put them in the garage for a little while. They are going to love this. I knew that we only had a little bit of space out here. So this Origin 21 Bistro set was just perfect. I mean, it has the wood tones we want. It has the cream colors. I think they're gonna be really surprised because outdoor dining isn't something that we talked about. It's just perfect for this space. It also could work in so many different spaces because of how neutral it is. I am so obsessed with this integrated planter. I'm so glad that we've used the void space of this corner and made it something functional and beautiful. I picked up this tangelo tree at the garden center at Lowe's. And right now, all I'm doing is just ripping up a bit of sheet moss to kind of fill in the base. It's totally optional. You a lot of times see moss added to terrariums. It's just kind of a finishing touch. It also helps retain moisture a bit. I just love the way it looks. So we're just doing a little finishing touch. All right, you guys, on the count of three, you can open your eyes. Oh, God. One, two, three. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> no, this is a real transformation. This is crazy. <laughs> what? No, the grill. <laughs> grill look master. Look That's what I'm saying. Like, look at this. the seasoning. Exactly. <laughs> is that a fridge? <laughs> wow, Monica. You're out there The shelf? The shelf? Yeah, the shelf. I'll be at the end. Okay, yeah. I see it. Check out that grill, how it's like completely integrated into a cabinet. Like, that's a leveled up grill. <laughs> that is Definitely. fancy. The grill master needs a shelf. I got all the seasonings, all the different grill tools. I don't even know what half of them do. They just look cool. <laughs> Only a grill master would know. Definitely. 
Look at that bad boy. It's nice. nice. Plenty of space. See, now I can already envision. You know, I probably have like maybe two slabs of ribs, <laughs> you know, some chicken going. You know, I can't forget about a burger. A burger. You know? It's so big. It's huge. You could feed an army. And I mean, this combined with the piece over here really solidifies our outdoor kitchen style and vibe that we were going for. I mean, not only can you cook, but you can also prep out here. The seating area, the lounge is perfect. Oh, and it's block. literally built in yeah. to is... our patio. I love it. You gotta try this out, right? Because yeah, we're lounging. On, can we lounge? Let's do it. It's so good. Super cushy. And you have a tangelo tree. <laughs> Isn't that so, is so cute? cute? I mean, can you believe this is just cinder block? That's what I said. It's cinder block. This is crazy. And the paint color. It went Perfect on so well. well. It took muscles and it took some patience, but it wasn't hard, not right? Not at all, not at all. And then your AC Perfect. unit. Like, did you even notice it anymore? Nope. With the plant <laughs> surrounding it, it just kind of like hides it away. So yeah, it does. Perfect. Perfect. And with the added plant, it makes the turf pop as well. That area feels so different from this area. It does. Everything is just. I feel like I'm in another world if I'm over there. Mm -hmm. And then I come over here, I'm in another place. I saw these on Lowe's.com and was like, I gotta get these on <laughs> All the sun you guys yeah, get yeah. here, and yeah. the bistro set was Love an it. absolute must. You guys didn't say much about like wanting to outdoor dine, but I knew that a bistro set would fit in and still allow, you can't just grill out here. Right, exactly. grill without eating. It makes yeah, sense, definitely. it makes sense, it's perfect. It makes so much sense. Let's see, <laughs> let's see how this will work. Oh. Oh. So oh good. I honestly can't believe that just two days ago, none of this was it here. It was nothing. This was such a fun weekend for me. As soon as I saw your style, what you wanted to do with the space, I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. So thanks for having us. And thanks for doing this. I mean, thanks to you for your design mind. Thanks for Lowe's for all the beautiful products. And thanks for the entire team for putting it all together. I mean, this is truly amazing. Honestly, thank you so much for making our dream backyard come true. This is perfect. We do feel like we're on vacation, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was another amazing Lowe's Weekender transformation. I would love to know what you guys think of this makeover, so be sure to leave a comment, let me know below. And as always, everything from this makeover came from Lowe's, and we'll put all the links in the description below. And if you're not subscribed to the Lowe's YouTube channel, you do not want to miss a single episode of The Weekender or any other great content that we have, so be sure to hit that subscribe button.